This is Opti 471B Lab 1 Kinematic Design and Beam Alignment. I'm Lee Johnson. I'm Caleb Pocock. And I'm Alex Schlutz. In part one of this lab, we were supposed to align a Heaney laser beam to be parallel to the optical bench, 200 millimeters above the optical bench, and centered along an optical rail for the entirety of its length. Before we could start aligning the laser beam, we had to mount it. What we did is we placed this Heaney laser in a standard laser mount, which allows for tip, tilt, and height adjustment, and, and we added an X translation on top of a magnetic mount for simple adjustment. To do the actual alignment, we used an iris as a target and used a two-point method with a near and a far position. In the far position, we adjusted the tip and the tilt, or the orientation, of the laser, and in the near position, we adjusted the translation. When moving from the near to the far position, if the laser beam was still centered on the iris, we knew that the beam was aligned. We went through about three iterations of this process to guarantee that the beam was aligned. After running through our iterations of alignment, you can see here that Alex is running our iris from the near to the far position, and you can see that the beam is still centered on the actual center of the iris. This is a demonstration that our beam is still aligned to where we wanted it to be. Next, we wanted to check if the table was level with respect to gravity. We did so using a pentaprism and a tray of water. A pentaprism is a magic prism which will always deviate light at 90 degrees. So here we have the pentaprism deflecting light at 90 degrees down into our tray of water. The water will always be level uh, with gravity and it acts as a plane mirror. So when it reflects the, water, uh, the light back up to our pinhole, you can see that spot there is not aligned with our pinhole which means that our table is not level with gravity. And as we shake the table, you can further see the, that dot of light moving around. Next, we aligned a cube beam splitter by inserting a rail, a rail orthogonal to the original optical axis. As you can see, we slid the pinhole along the length of the rail, and the beam of light was centered on the pinhole along the whole length of the rail, so it was properly aligned. We then inserted inserted a pentaprism and you can see that the beam was still properly aligned so both the cube beam splitter and the pentaprism provided the same 90 degree angle. The next step of the lab was to co-align a second laser beam on top of the already ex existing first laser beam. To do so we took a beam splitter and shined the laser beam through the beam splitter. By using the same technique that we used to align the first laser to the optical axis of the rail we aligned the second laser beam. Next we are aligning lenses to the optical axis of the laser. To do so, we align the lenses so that the reflections from the front and back surfaces both reflect directly back into the laser cavity. By adjusting tip and tilt, you can see how the reflected beams go back to the laser. Next, using the lenses that we aligned to the laser, we built a beam expander, which is the exact opposite of a Galilean telescope. Now, the only thing that was left after aligning the lenses was the Z displacement from each other. And using a shear plate, we can check collimation for this beam when the fringes are aligned with the line on the shear plate. For the last part of the lab, we were aligning a microscope to the beam. For the first part, we had to adjust the tip and tilt to align the illuminated reticle to the original laser spot. We then used translation in the x and y direction to center that spot on the final image, based on the reticle. After this, we added a lens and translated it back and forth to guarantee that the lens, or that the alignment of the microscope was correct. Next are some tips and tricks for this lab. First, we used a magnetic base for the laser adjustment. This allows rough adjustment and alignment of the laser to speed up the process. The next one is height adjustable post holders. This allows us to easily adjust the post height without changing the angle that the optic is at. Another tip is to avoid using the shutter on the laser because it is possible that you'll end up bumping the laser and misaligning it. And finally, the overall thing to take from this lab is the two-point alignment technique, which we described earlier in the lab, where you have a near and a far location and a target, and as long as you have enough degrees of freedom, you can adjust based on the axis of your motion.